in order to understand a very big concept. You need to understand one another. You need to be connected to one another. I'm Simin Karamati, a multidisciplinary artist based in Toronto. I was born in Tehran, Iran, raised there. My background in a university is with painting, and I studied fine arts. But I found it like difficult for me to limit myself into just one material or a series of material. So anytime I want to be creative, I think about the way that I can execute that creativity in a visual way. It's been almost 11 years that I'm living in Toronto. It added value to me, like immigration, uh, to my point of view. As an artist, when I work with social, political and identity, the society I live in, especially the city that I live in, takes a great part in my creativity. I learned a lot of things through motherhood from my child. He grew up in my studio, you know. He is a very good inspiration for me. The way that I could resist, I could survive, I could be there. I found qualities in myself that I, I never thought that a person can, like me can, can have. This work, The Elephant in the Dark, it's a story by Rumi that talks about an elephant that they have put it in, in a dark room. They invite those people to enter the room and they cannot see the creature, but they can touch different parts of the body and they can identify what they are touching. Their perception separately are quite different. It is a multimedia installation. Once they touch the button, the uh, video will turn on and this, they see a part of the elephant, not the whole thing. It will be darker and there will be spotlights over these elements. The idea of the poem is you touch a part of the elephant and then you guess what you're touching. These are the parts and they can, they can uh, easily tell that is the food, that is the trunk, but this one is a bit harder for them to see that this is the eyes. And there will be um, images coming out, like lights coming out because it will be a back projection thing. They will install the projector up here and then the image will be projected on here. And then from the inside, from the apertures, they can see parts of it. And then when they come to the back of the scene, they can see the whole image all at once. I think the image that I have created based on the imagination of Rumi will stay with the audience for a while. For the past five years, I was working on misplacement and displacement. And in every society, when you come from a very different culture, there is some very generated things that you know about the other culture. So it happened to me a lot. Like wherever I go, they just think about my backgrounds and then they put me in the boxes. You don't know me, so don't just put me in the titles that you know. People are allowed to have assumptions about everything, but you don't have to impose it. You can ask questions.